Yeah, so we're going to cancel all imports. Get all of my factories from you and then import it from you. Import from Yugoslavia. And then import the rest from the United States. You know, just whatever I need. Rubber, I can get from... None of my puppets really make it, so I guess we'll get it from the British Malaysia. Of course, we're going to lose all this stuff as soon as we go to war with the Allies. Because it's just... It's, we're not going to be able to import it because we're going to be at war with them, obviously. It's not a great time. Let's get more uh, resource gain. I'm hoping once we control all of Europe, our resources shouldn't be too big of an issue. I already do have my plans for what I'm going to kind of shape post-war. I guess what post... Is this World War Three or is this a continuation of World War Two? I'm really not too sure how this would be written down in like history books. 643 days. No, we're still like way too ahead of time on that. Artillery 1942. We should be getting these other this other research. I've kind of just been neglecting a lot of research, which is kind of my own bad. And guess as long as we're holding out here, we should be completely good to go. Yeah, so I think most of the Italians here should be fine. Just hold the line here and just push our way to Palmero. I mean, Russia's close to capitulating. Italy's close to capitulating. But I don't think they're going to be... I don't think... I think they have more than four days in them is basically what I'm trying to stay here. I think I'm going to actually stop you for now. Because actually, I want to declare war in Austria and then immediately capitulate Italy, so they just immediately surrender. It's a bit gamey, yes, but it's fine. I can be I can be gamey if I want to. I mean, Italy is at 22%, so as soon as we take Palmero, they're going to capitulate. Russia, I still don't know. They have one city here worth three points. They have a handful of city here worth one, two, three, four... Like, I, but they, I'm further know they have no cities over here. Like, not a single one. They have a port, but that's not worth points as far as I know. So I think it's just those, that's worth three, six. So I think they have like 13 points total. So I do think when we take the, these, one of these areas, either down here or the city just past the Urals, they should capitulate. We're going to declare war in Austria. Okay, yeah, they, they've joined... They've joined Italy. So, I mean, that's good for us because we're just going to kill Italy now. Like, I don't even think we need to even move troops into Austria. Necessarily. Just surround Austria. And it sh we should be good to go there. No, just take Palmero. Because I think... I I'm pretty sure I'm not saying it right, but... Italy is going to capitulate. If they haven't already, like, it really looks like they should, but... Who retracted my message? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the bot. I don't... I think Nightbot should be on. So, if anything, it was probably, like, auto mod. Okay, so we got that. Let's just take a, once again, take a quick look in these other trees to see if we're not missing anything. So I think Italy should capitulate now. They're at 11%. So Italy should just give up. They've capitulated. Fantastic. Um, now we're just waiting on Russia, basically. And 
And we're probably going to need to take these two cities here. Because I don't think... I don't think Russia has any other cities but those. And Peach, your objective is now to take over these two areas over here. Delete this plan here. And just completely march towards there. As fast as humanly... You know what? Faster than humanly possible. I'm just going to do this and march. And, and hopefully you get in time. Oh, take some... That actually is true. We do need to do that. Because, yeah, we do need, like, some more participation against them. So I think we took a little bit of it, so I think, yeah, 99%. So we've taken some of it, so I believe that means we should be fine, or else, we, yeah, we would have ended up in the same situation as um, Tanatuva, where just nothing would have happened. I think I, we're not in any, we don't need to worry about Austria at all. Yeah, and Russia is at 26%. Is there any other city I'm missing? Like, I don't think so. Like, I kind of wish it was just like a victory point map mode I could look at and be like, oh, they're right here. These are the areas that I need to take. But as far as I know, those don't actually exist. Which is annoying. Does actually does Austria just like not have supplies? Like were they just not ready for an invasion? I don't. I just don't think they were ready. Come on, Russia, twenty-five percent. Okay, now delete this plan. And all of you on this plan, except for yeah, these guys that were going to take these cities. Apparently these are only worth one each. So is there is there like another city I'm just missing? Like I don't like I don't think so, but I don't I don't necessarily know. It's very weird. Yeah, because I see those two cities. But I don't see anything else. Also, you guys just don't, don't have a plan right now, huh? So I guess it's just we like front line here and then just attack this way. Because what else are you going to do? I don't really know. Um, maybe just make more make more guns. I really don't know. Yeah, and these guys are, you know, still on their way to taking these cities, which is important. Yeah, take uh, take these cities. Go on. I believe in you. Because, yeah, I, like, I just don't think there's anything else other than those two cities. Oh, the United States declared a war on us. Awesome. Thanks. So that means we're going to be at war with the allies now. Which is not what I wanted, but I guess it was going to happen. Did it, yeah, Italy's, Italy's capitulated. Um, but now we're at war with the allies. Oh, there's a stupid amount of American troops in France right now. Well, um, I guess we're going to need to open this up. Are we at war with the entirety of the allies? Just the United Kingdom right now. So Japan's kind of on our side. Hey Japan, how are you? War summary. Things are shitty. Is is is, is the summary I'm going with? Is everything's bad? Um. These got the Lowlands haven't declared war on us yet. I need more troops over here. Yeah, not you know Italy. We can have a non-aggression pact. It's fine. 
I'm hoping the Americans throw so many troops at us in France that it should be okay. Oh, yeah, I need to call... Oh, China can be invited to my faction. Yeah, China, sure. There we go. China is now part of the German League. I'm pretty sure that's also maybe them wanting to be a counterbalance against the Japanese. I'm not too sure. But I'm going to invite... Call all my allies into this war. Wait, do you, do you not want to join the war against the... China's dangerous borders with the enemy. Well, they're at war with Russia, but they don't want to join the war against the British. Even though China has, uh, as far as I can tell, 193 divisions, which would be super useful for my war effort. But I guess, you know, it's not important anymore. Oil, get that from uh, Iraq, maybe? Well, nobody actually really has oil other than the people I was, tra other than the people I was trading with. Yeah, I don't want to waste factories, so just get one, one. We're not going to be able to trade British Malaysia for too much longer. Okay. Join. Yeah, no, I wanted you to join the war. I don't. There's no nations. Of... No, I was doing. Yes, except. You know what, Korea? You can have military access. Cause I have no. I have no beef with the Japanese. Or the Koreans. It's it's mostly everybody else who's a complete and utter asshole. I'm I'm annoyed that China won't. Even though they could easily overwhelm the the British. It's weird because they're actually not at war with these guys yet. Or they're not also in the war. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, you guys can actually also uh, march your way into. Belgium, I think. Oh, Luxembourg's not even in the war yet. South Africa has joined the war. Yeah, I, I'm just going to frontline these guys here. Even though I know they're going to be, like, not proper. Lower your treatment to get more mats. Oh, more materials. Okay. But I'm just hoping that we can finish the war fast enough. Why do you occupation of... No. Harshest, local manpower. Oh, we're, we're out. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, we'll get the resources from them. I, I see that. I've covered it up. I mean, these guys are going to be, like, really shitty, but I don't really care about that right now. These guys just need to hold the line against the, the Americans. I'm assuming Britain basically still has no army. Oh, they, they mobilized a shit ton since the, the war against the, uh... Against the Italian... Or against the... Who was I fighting? The Communist. It took him a fucking eon to get that on the... <laughs> I'm just annoyed by everybody now. The British Raj. I mean, Austria is actually almost dead, and I wasn't—I like I wasn't even really trying too hard. I'm gonna move probably Red Army to the the French front. Spain, I'm, I won't. They will join the war. I don't know why they're not in the war yet. Well, their troops are all defending ports, and that's not helpful. I'm trying, to say Italy, I'm trying to Austria actually have them capitulated. Like, they're close. We just need to take Salzburg, actually. And I think they should capitulate after that. And then we can move these guys over here. You guys have to feel pretty confident down here in the south, huh? If you're enemy 80%, I mean, that's fine. I mean, yellow is a bit overextended, that's true. A bit more rocket artillery. I really don't really know what we need at the moment, honestly. Twenty-three percent Russia. 
I know this this can probably also just be solved because I know if you just take territory eventually. Eventually it all sorts itself out and they will capitulate. But it's just taking way too goddamn long. Like I don't know how many provinces it is per percentage. Apparently it's a lot. Fortify and fear enemy. Well, these areas aren't defended, so let's go take those if we can. But I just want I just want one of these. You know what, Venezuela? Sure. I'll I'll accept your volunteers. You want to join my faction? No, because they're very fascist. And they have no interest in joining it. But Austria's capitulated. Fantastic. So that means the Red Army now can deploy their support and kind of frontline a bit into France. And that should be good. So yeah, you guys all deploy over there. Just fight against the Netherlands. Why do, why do I need to justify against the Dutch? Oh, they're not, oh, they're not in the war. It's going to take 160 days, which is annoying. They will remain neutral. It's going to take 100 and... I mean, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make, make a difference. I'm just... Anno I don't know why it's going to take 160 days. I really feel like it should be a little bit faster than that. 22%. All of my troops just marched there. Large ships on low strength. Yeah, you guys go repair then. So if we're fighting a... Massive British naval engagement. Yeah, okay. I didn't know they were actually still... Um, I didn't know they were still neutral. I mean, it is a lot of men, but our... The weird, like, beetle troops are pretty bad. Like, they don't have the... Um, I mean, you could just make them better. Just split them in half. Throw them under a new general. Um, make these guys... Like a... Maybe like a yellowy kind of like color like that. No, we have, we have a ton of peach troops. So like a light purple. Maybe. I don't know. And maybe throw them down here. Oh, I'm okay, so I'm assuming the Dutch are having the same issue with, like, China, where they just don't want to join against someone who has, like, a massive army on their borders. Again, still annoying, but... Free military factories. Like, I don't even know what to build right now. Because they kind of... I mean, oh, we're actually not building a lot of shit. Because we don't have rubber. More propaganda. So much propaganda. Um, Unfilled imports. We're, get, we're getting no rubber at all. Let's trade with the Dutch while we're at war with their faction. That seems like a great plan. I'm assuming... Which is... I don't know why we're actually not getting our imports from the Azerbaijan. We have a land border, so you would have thought that... It would all be okay, but I guess not. It's going to take you an actual... It's going to take you 54 days to get there. But I think we only need like one of those cities. 21%. And I want these guys all to kind of march. Just so... It, does offensive fly... Does Spearhead make them go faster? Okay. We just need to take provinces. Like, so I can deploy... Like, we have... Uh, like, how many men do you think are on this front? Like, a hundred-something thousand? Or, like, half a million men, maybe, on these four armies I have deployed over here? Like, purple doesn't need to do anything, because purple's going to be uh, reassigned down into Syria to push into Africa. 
once the war with them is over. Because I'm assuming, I'm hoping nobody here becomes a great power. It doesn't look like it. So as soon as Russia capitulates, it should be good to go. I, well, we'll see. And they keep cutting my troops off, which is super annoying. They just don't want to. They just want me to capitulate them, which I guess is fair. But I, I know that eventually it's going to happen. We will win over there. I just don't know when. Nobody feels super confident right now. Which is disappointing. Ninety-five, ninety-six. Just give up, Russia. Please, for the love of God, just give up. So twenty percent. So taking one city will definitely get them to capitulate. But I don't know how long it's going to take for you to get this. Like four days. Four days, and the war will be over. Four days. One, two, three, four. We actually need to also make sure these guys up here don't get cut off. So actually, I'm going to stop the offensive line here. I'm going to just stop. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll stop those offensive plans for now. Just to make sure we can hold off this offensive line. Where, where's yellow? Yellow's not doing anything. Okay. The red army, I can also... Extend you over here to kind of cover that. You don't feel as confident about taking southern France as you once did. Hello, Exor. You're just so close. You're so close. This might get you to stop and, like, retreat. I like how they're actually still getting closer, even though they're in combat. Please, I just need you to get there and have it be midnight because I think they should be. <laughs> finally. Oh my god, finally we did it. So now I get to um, deal with the spoils. So, as Germany, of course, I get to take all of this land. So that's going to be mine. Also, I need to take all of Austria. Thank you very much, Austria, for being such a good sport about it. Um, Latvia. You can take this area here because you've been such a good boy. Lithuania. You can take these states. Estonia, you don't get anything just because of your sad geographic position. Finland can take that. China. I don't know if there's anything over here that you would be able to take. Not that you deserve anything. Ukraine can take these two states here. Spain. What didn't, didn't, didn't Spain get anything? Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia gets some stuff. You can have the entire coast here. As well as Albania. Okay, so I'm going to end my turn, maybe. Let's see, what, what can I do? If I go to Germany. Liberate the Kingdom of Romania. I don't know actually where that go. I mean, I'd be in Moldavia, I think. Republic of Belarus. Liberate Belarus. I think if I liberate, I don't... I'm gonna have to, once again, I'm gonna like mod some stuff here. Because liberate doesn't make them a puppet. Oh, uh, you know, I want a satellite. To, okay, there we go. I want to satellite them. And then Russia, liberate satellite Tanatuva. I'm not gonna do anything like that yet. 
Italy. Liberate the French Commune. No, I want a satellite. Satellite Albania, satellite Croatia, satellite Ethiopia, satellite the Kingdom of uh, Libya. So I don't want to satellite France quite yet. I think I'm just going to puppet Hungary for now. Austria, I've already annexed. Turkey. Actually, where's Greece? I'm going to satellite Greece. I'm going to end this turn. Okay, so now I believe I've made puppets. And now I think I can give them territory as well. So I'm going to give this to Ethiopia. Libya can have a few states here, even though I don't think they actually really get anything from this. So they can have that, I guess. Greater Hungary is a puppet, but I think that's fine. Did I, I puppet? Yeah, I puppeted Romania. So I'm going to give them that. I'm going to, I puppeted Greece. So I'm going to give them back their territory. Lithuania. Is there anybody else I puppeted? I puppeted Belarus. So I'm going to give Belarus some territory over here. Is there anything else I, I can annex? Oh, Romania is here. I can give that back to Romania, though, afterwards. I see. Where's, where's, where's uh, my little puppets? Uh, they're down here. Well, Spain, I'm going to give Spain the northern coast of Africa. They can have all of that. Armenia can annex parts of Turkey. And then I think I'm going to probably pop at the rest of Turkey. And then I'm going to... I'm going to pop at Bulgaria. I'm going to pop at Italy. I'm going to pop at Russia. I'm going to pop at Poland. Enough points to do that. Okay, what, what what's taking like a ton of points? Is... I'm going to pop at you. I'm going to pop at you. And I think I puppeted Russia, right? Did I puppet Russia? I did puppet Russia. I'm going to satellite Tanatuva. And then go give Tanatuva some territory because they've also they deserve it. Tanatuva, I think you're a puppet of mine. I'm gonna give you a bunch of territory from Russia. Just so in case they ever decide to do anything stupid again, I can just attack them and annex them. Excellent. The border guard the border guard is gonna be great. Don't worry about the border. It's gonna be good. Oh, that's a lot of territory. Oh no. How many points do I have? Do I not have any points left? Oh, I don't. Okay, I'm going to pass this turn. And then I'm going to give the territory to Tantuva. Once again, it's going to be beautiful. I'm not even reading chat because I'm pretty sure I saw somebody say, Oh god, this looks terrible. But it's going to be beautiful and you just don't understand. What, what did I not puppet? Puppet, puppet. What did I not puppet? I can give. Can I give? What did I not? I don't understand what I didn't puppet. I think I'm done. I think it's puppeted. No. I mean, the ball. Okay, the borders are a bit messy. I will. I will admit. I think it's all puppeted. The borders are beautiful. Don't. This is a perfect Germany. You don't understand. You've never seen a more beautiful. I'm going to give that. Yeah, give that to Romania. This is beautiful. You don't. All of you motherfuckers don't understand what beautiful 
country looks like. I didn't need any of that other stuff for uh for the HRE, right? I don't think so. Oh, I did need uh Toscany and Istria. What what's one's Istria? I need you. Okay, well I, I can just do that in a console command. It's fine. Don't worry don't worry about it. I'm gonna save just in case I do something stupid. Uh, is it T D bug? Okay. I, I know I know I did this before. Like a long set owner. G uh, Germany. Tuscany is one six two, one six two, and then Istria is seven three six. And I think that makes me a controller, right? Then I have to think I have to like set occupation or something. Set controller. 162. And then it's 763. Seven, And then that should work. I mean, as far as, as far as I think the game's concerned, it's it's all good, and I've done it. I have to do like some other weird shit. But either way, it's a beautiful world. You don't understand. It's it's wonderful. No, UK gets shit. They lose. They they're gonna lose. I I think I took. Uh, let me just. New messages. You said controller per province ID, not state. Oh, okay. Oh, then what did I give myself? Oh, I gave myself parts of Canada. Oh, okay. Then I, I have no clue what else I took. Owner estate. Okay, then I don't know what the. Oop, awkward. Well, then yeah, I'll just do that in the in between saves. Ugh. Either way, I, I think. I think I think it's all gone pretty okay. I mean, all things considered. I mean, look look how beautiful Belarus is. I don't know what this flag is. I don't know why it's got the German flag. Maybe Belarus just did not have a neutral Germ a flag, so it just gave them Germany's default flag. I have no clue. It's wild. We got um. I no, it's not out of Turk. I don't think. Oh, Italy still owns all these islands. Ah, that's fine. I don't, really, I don't really care too much about those islands. But yeah, the German League is looking pretty good. The owner tag, state, ID, set controller. Yeah, but that's gonna take that's gonna take a while. There's like uh, there's a handful of states in here. Like I said, I'll just do that in the interim period. It might actually, I might be able to just, like save and reload. Like, I'm not too sure. Are they even in the war yet? They all are. Available war goal against two. Against Russia? I'm thinking I don't need to declare war on Russia. They're already in my faction. It's such a fuck. It's that's it's fucking beautiful, dude. It's so good. Yeah, once again, I'm gonna save the game again, even though I think I've done it like twice already. And now